everyone and welcome my name is Zaki and I am an electrical engineer and we're going to talk about Laplace transform so Laplace Well, the, the function you want to get Laplace for is f of t. You're going to put it to the box of integration of Laplace from 0 to infinity, infinite integration, e to the power minus st. Then the function you want to get Laplace for, then you're going to integrate this back to dt. And after that, the function will be of Laplace. So now the function has been transformed into Laplace transform. So for example, if I want to get Laplace transform of a constant C, this C could be actually 1, 2, 3, and so on. Okay? 1, 2, 3, and so on. Very well. So all you're going to do is just put the function in this box. So say for example we want to get Laplace of 1. What are you going to do? We're going to put 1 into the box. So 0 to infinity, eos minus st. Then I'm going to put the function just right here. Okay? Function of 1, put 1. Then dt. Okay? Very well. Then we know that integration of exponential to the power of anything say for example of t dt is exponential itself but what if the power has a number constant power multiplied by t for example this the integration of, of the exponential is to make it happen you need to multiply by the derivative of the power of the exponential so the derivative of the power with respect to t is 2 and then you're gonna put this 1 over 2 then the exponential is itself in the integration or or differentiation so this will be this is integration because it's indefinite so we're going to put c. But this integration is finite from 0 to infinity. So to make it happen, the same idea, the same idea, you're going to, so anything multiplied by 1, we don't put 1 in mass, so just to simplify it for you. To integrate the exponential function, we're going to multiply the exponential function by the derivative of the bar with respect to t. So you're going you're gonna to remove the t because the t is power 1 so it's going to be minus s then the same idea you just multiply by minus s then you're going to put it right there, just right there 1 over minus s and to integrate this very simple the integration the integration of the function e of the exponential is the c and this is finite integral from 0 to infinity so, very well, minus 1 over s, and open the brackets, e to the minus infinity, because you just remove the t, or you replace t with infinity, minus e up to the power of 0. Okay, this is equal to minus 1 over s, 1 over e of t infinity, exponential over infinity, minus 1. And we know anything over infinity, anything over infinity equals zero. So this is equal zero. So this is will equal to one over s. So the Laplace of constant one is actually one over s. What if we want to get Laplace of uh, two? So Laplace of any function c would be c over s so Laplace of 2 for example gonna be 2 over s 
and thank you for watching this video and see you soon.